Hi there, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and this is our full review of the Nokia Lumia 920. Haven't been this excited about a phone since the Kaiser from HTC back in uh, 2007. A lot of innovation packed into this guy. Let's check it out. Let's start with the specs. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon MSM8960 dual core 1.5 GHz processor with 1 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. The front facing camera has a resolution of 1.2 megapixels and the rear camera has 8.7 megapixels with 1080p HD video recording and optical image stabilization. The 4.5 inch IPS TFT screen features a 768 uh, by 1280 pixel resolution. We've also got Bluetooth 3.1, Wi-Fi, assisted GPS, and NFC. The handset's weight is 185 grams and the thickness is 10.7 millimeters. Powering it all is a 2000 milliamp hour battery which is non-removable. However, the built-in key standard wireless charging will make keeping that charged up a lot easier. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. The design of the Nokia Lumia 920 is clearly a minor progression from the older Nokia Lumia 800, 900, and the N9. At the top you've got the handset speaker along with some sensors, a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, and some logos. Then you've got a large 4.5 inch IPS TFT screen with print quality pixel density that makes everything look very smooth. Outdoor visibility is fantastic and if you turn on the high sensitivity option in the settings you can even use the phone with gloves on. At the bottom are the usual Windows Phone capacitive buttons for search, start screen, and back. On the right side, there's a series of thin ceramic buttons protruding from the edge for activating the camera, power, and volume up or down. The buttons are raised just enough to be easy to feel for your, with your fingers, and the placement makes a lot of sense when you're holding the phone with your left hand. On the bottom, you'll see the speaker grill, two screws that hold everything together, and a micro USB port. On the left side, there's just a smooth round edge. On the top is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a flush little drawer for the micro SIM card. On the back is the 8.7 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture, 26 millimeter equivalent wide angle lens, and a dual LED flash. In the hand, the Nokia Lumia 920 feels beautiful as long as you hold it by the sides. The corners are pretty pointy, so you'll want to avoid pressing your palm against these too hard but holding it by the sides has the advantage of easy access to the hardware buttons on the right edge. Now let's talk about the software. Most of our Windows Phone 8 coverage can already be found in our full Windows Phone 8 review on Pocketnow.com. That's where you'll get the most meat about the software on the Nokia Lumia 920. However, there are quite a few customizations that Nokia has made, which we'll look at here. First of all, you'll find a whole slew of special apps in the Nokia collection section of the Windows Phone 8 store. Some of these are custom versions of third-party apps that Nokia commissioned for their phones specifically, while others were developed by Nokia for their Lumia smartphones. One of the best ones is Nokia Drive Plus Beta. This is your free GPS navigation program for Nokia Lumia phones, but the Plus doesn't mean there's more features than the previous version of Nokia Drive for Lumia phones. There's actually less since the My Commute feature is missing. However, now the app works in the background and will announce driving directions no matter what. Another fantastic addition from Nokia on the Lumia 920, and all of their Lumia Windows phones for that matter, is the Nokia Music app. This lets you stream or download automatically generated mixed playlists of all sorts of music. A few of the other Nokia apps that are really well done are the custom weather channel app with special weather alerts, friends weather, and augmented reality. CNN and Bloomberg are great news apps that can add custom lock screen image options. ESPN lets you follow certain sports and teams with custom live tiles. Nokia City Lens gives you augmented reality views of the points of interest around you. Nokia Transit is indispensable for navigating public transportation, subways, buses, and trains. And I like the Nokia Trailers app, which actually lets you download movie trailers for offline viewing and can even remind you of when specific movies are coming out. Overall, the amount of innovative software and valuable additions you get from Nokia in the Lumia 920 is immensely better than other Windows phones, and I would say other smartphones in general. Next, let's look at the camera. You probably already know that Nokia is keen when it comes to camera technology built into mobile phones. 
the Lumia 920 is another indication of Nokia's superiority and push towards advancing mobile camera tech. While the megapixel count is not that great at 8.7 megapixels, the huge innovation here is the optically stabilized camera component. You can see how the image stabilizations make video recording movements much less shaky and harsh. It's not completely smooth since big motions are still going to be visible, but it's noticeably smoother. You can see the exposure changes are nice and quick, and autofocus works very well in the brighter areas, but understandably not as well in low light. Audio recording quality is pretty impressive as well. Still shots benefit the most from optical stabilization in low light handheld scenarios. Bright light images are about the same as other 8 megapixel cameras, but when it comes to low light situations, the advantage is clear. Now what about audio quality on the Lumia 920? We thought the Windows Phone 8X by HTC had good audio with its dedicated amplifier and Beats audio support, but it turns out that the uh, Nokia Lumia 920 has some impressive sound as well. Not only is there a Dolby switch uh, when you plug in headphones, but there's actually an equalizer in the settings so that you can customize the sound to your preference. In terms of battery life, I found the Lumia 920 to be satisfactory. After about 9 hours without a charge, the battery percentage was down to about 48% and indicated I had another 9 hours to go. That should do just fine for a device that doesn't have a re removable battery, and wireless charging platforms will help keep that going strong. Our final rating is going to be an 8.3 out of 10. The hardware, the screen, the camera, the sound quality, the video stabilization, and Nokia's custom apps are all extremely impressive, as is the pricing. The only negatives for me are really the large size and lack of user replaceable battery. Everything else on this phone is top notch. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.